Good morning. This is Bill from Audi Europa, and today I have this very attractive 2003 Mercedes-Benz SL500 Roadster. Uh, this is the R230 car. Uh, it was, you know, I don't know what you'd say about it. I suppose it confirmed the SL as, uh, you know, an entry into the foray of supercars. You know, they've always been fantastic sports cars. Well, not in the classical sense of being light and nimble and fling them around, but certainly in terms of, you know, that Corvette style sports car, big V8 up front, rear drive, lots of fun to, uh, you know, to get out there on the streets. But this one took it a step further. It added, uh, you know, some technology that made it handle incredibly well. Uh, of course, uh, you know, the big V8 under the hood remains very advanced, very powerful, lots of fun. And, uh, you know, all in all, an incredible grand touring car. Uh, which is, uh, I suppose, what the SL is truly all about, if it's not otherwise meant to bring orthodontists to work. Uh, you can see that it is in great shape. It's finished in brilliant silver uh, all around. Very nice paint. It's got uh, terrific-looking six-spoke alloys with Continentals. Uh, you know, sort of debatable uh, air vents here in the side and top that harken back to, you know, earlier SLs, make it look rakish. I like them a lot. Uh, you know, other people, eh, maybe without them, they want a more subtle, I don't know. I think they're nice. Uh, the styling of the car is just terrific. It's fat fendered, it's lowered, it's wider than earlier SLs. It's got these very attractive uh, swoop back taillights there, you know, twice pipes at the bottom. And of course, what this does add that other SLs did not have is this rather incredible folding hardtop mechanism that's just beautiful to look at. In fact, let me see if I can do that now. I think this has the uh, remote setting, so I think I can just press and hold the lock button. Yeah, there you see the trunk comes up from reverse. And this is like the Bolshoi Ballet. Up comes this beautiful folding hardtop. Seals itself into place up front. Down go those flaps, up come the windows. And down go the trunk. So now you have a hard top, you know, two door coupe. Very, very stylish and attractive. If there's inclement weather, you and your significant other are not going to be affected by it. And of course, when you add that to the incredible traction control, you're going to do just fine. Uh, there you see the nice teardrop headlights up front, xenons in there, of course, classic Mercedes uh, grill, uh, you know, with the big star in the middle. And just everything lovely inside. Tell you what I'll do. I'm actually going to run the top back down. We're going to do that the opposite way. Uh, first, let me show you inside the trunk. Oh, we're all locked up, of course. All right. So this big cargo divider here, you can lift up and move forward, and it gives you access to a nice deep part of the trunk where you could fit golf clubs or, you know, whatever else you might need. I got a bag of junk in there going on a trip today. But you can see the trunk is nice, clean, proper, everything as it should be. Now, let me run the top down. Then I'll show you a pretty cool feature. Oh, don't do what I just did. Don't put the top down that hard. It has a nice gentle suck down. So all you got to do is put it against the, the latch at the bottom. All right, there you see that lovely ballet in reverse. Down goes the top. It goes very, very fast. Fast enough to be used to the traffic light, which I believe was the design principle. Now, I wish Mercedes ran the windows down when you did that. They don't, and there they are. But uh, I suppose it's a small complaint. Okay, so now... Oh my God, there's a top in the trunk. How the hell am I gonna get to my stuff? Well, very cleverly, you can press this button right here and up comes the top, up comes the divider, and now you've got access to all of your stuff that simply. So very clever uh, little thing there from the German engineers. All right, let me show you under the hood and then we'll get inside the car. Okay, so in here we are going to find a big German V8. Uh, that's five liters, a little over 300 horsepower. Very, very peppy, very potent, lots of torque. Uh, nice growl from under the hood. You know, you hammer this thing, it responds. And uh, just a terrific engine. That's made into a bulletproof five-speed automatic. Uh, you know, shifts very nice and proper. And uh, you can see on this low mileage car, everything under the hood looks really good. Okay, inside, 
is another area for some departures from Mercedes. You can see we've got beautiful ash leather in here, very nice grayish color. I like the gray and black contrast with the door panels. Uh, very, very supportive sports seats. You hop in those things, you drive to California and you're not gonna feel tired. Uh, starting from here, not from, you know, Nevada or something. Very comfy seats. Mercedes are great at that. Uh, you see a lovely, um, you know, uh, I, I suspect faux leather wrap dashboard that looks fantastic. And gone is that uh, trapezoidal instrument cluster of Mercedes uh, past, and it's been replaced with something that looks like it came from an Alfa Romeo Spider. Kind of a neat um, dash departure for Mercedes. Now, if I press this arrow here, It'll move the seat forward and give me access to the rear uh, area. And in here, we're going to find a CD changer. Nice, nice. Looks like there's an extra magazine in there. Maybe it's the only one. Over here, there's our books and a little place just to store stuff, specifically books. Uh, these guys here, those belts, they zip down, they clip in, and that gives you a place to strap some cargo in the back. So if you have a, you know, I don't know what you put in there. Maybe you're in a architect you have a roll of um, uh, plans or something you can put them on that little hump strap them in like a seat belt and you're good to go a fly fishing rig all right so let's crank it up and listen to that v8 very very nice growl from under the hood uh, here you can see again lovely stylistic door panels the brushed aluminum the uh, swoops and curves very nice design got little map pockets there in the side you've got 53 way power seats well, in many way anyway uh, there's a trunk release your heated seats memory uh, just lovely lovely here you've got automatic headlights there you see just 72,000 miles on the clock nice low mileage car this uh, very nice leather steering wheel let's get our windows down get my seat belt on let's see what we got so uh, of course uh, again that instrument cluster pretty cool stuff uh, very nice just all the information you need multifunction wheel here uh, over here you've got Mercedes uh, frankly indecipherable in dash command unit I, it's fine you'll be able to figure it out but uh, you see it's got navigation although from 03 it's a little bit like having pac-man in your dashboard uh, telephone that's a um, yeah, of course it's not plugged in. That's kind of a proprietary Mercedes telephone from 03. Not going to work with Bluetooth. You're going to have to add that onto it if you want to. Uh, down here you've got some cup holders, which I can't get out. <laughs> All right, so we'll have our shop take a look at that. Uh, here's our climate control unit. If you don't use those cup holders, they end up getting stuck in there and you gotta, you know, work them loose and then they're fine again until you stop using them. So we'll get that going. Uh, let's turn this on. There's our AC. Dual side climate control, kind of funky styling. Uh, ashtray here that's never been used in this car. Uh, here's a very nice uh, brushed aluminum and leather shifter. Uh, winter summer setting. Uh, this will raise and lower the car like an old Citroen if you press that. Uh, one red light will bring it up a little, two red lights will bring it up a lot. So if you got some ground clearance issues at your house or you know your uh, you know, your girl or your guy is always smashing into parking curbs. You can just raise the car up and, you know, they'll give them more room. Uh, big, complicated mirror control unit here. It's not complicated, but it seems bigger than it needs to be. Uh, with the joystick uh, and of course your ABC sport suspension which is pretty neat stuff what that does is replaces traditional sway bars and such with uh, dampening coil so if you're taking a hard right turn it's gonna stiffen up the left side independently front rear whatever it needs more uh, ditto if you're taking a hard left turn or forward back keeps the car stable and secure at speed it's a fantastic system and away we go I like going night. Now, okay, here's a good example. So, you know, we've got this low curve here. I'm in danger of scrubbing my front bumper on it. Let's see. Let's start raising the car. All right, so it's raising up. Let me hop outside for a sec so you can see it. And I'll move forward. All right, so now look at the height of this thing. All of a sudden, we look like, uh, you know, we're going off-roading. Weld a flag holder in the back and hang a rebel flag off the trunk. Oh, we're not going to do that. All right. So anyway, so we're nice and high. Now I can very easily go over my dip in the road without scrubbing the bumper. Nice, nice. And on the fly, 
put it right back down to the proper driving level again. So, pretty nice engineering there from Mercedes. So again, every SL ever made has become a collector's item, has been desirable, has been limited production, very expensive. Uh, this one's no exception. Uh, you know, they're, they were a ton of money new. This thing would be about 90 grand. Uh, they're an absolute joy to operate, to drive. The roof goes down, wind in your hair, two seat kind of roadster feeling. You know, people looking on, figuring like these Ibises, taking their life in their hands around here. That's right, off you go. There's an old M3. All right, so uh, anyway, what, what great grand touring cars these SLs have been. And this is, you know, a continuation of that into the modern era. I mean, if you want something to rip around the Austrian Alps, uh, you really can't do much better than this, even if it's a little bit heavy. You know, it's just a fantastic car. Um, they're a joy to own, a joy to operate, uh, very, very rewarding, and uh, just lovely to have around. So uh, again, this is an 03. Let's give it a little hammer. Oh, I can't. There's nice people walking their dog. All right, just a good citizen here. How you doing? How you doing? All right, hammer it. All right, and then this instant pull of torque, and the car will pull all the way up to 155 miles an hour where it's governed to. Uh, so it really is a uh, fantastically performing sports car. Also has a driver adaptive transmission. So if you drive like, you know, an Andretti, it's going to learn that and react accordingly. And if you drive like, you know, somebody's grandma, uh, it's going to smooth itself out as well. So uh, long story short, 03 SL500 Roadster, folding hardtop convertible, uh, 72,000 miles, great shape, fantastic driver, great to look at. You're going to love this one. Uh, give us a call, 239-649-7300, on the web at mercedesexpert.com. Thanks so much for having a look. We appreciate it. We'll see you with the next one. Take care.